Imagine if that bridge deteriorated to the point where it fell and then there was no bridge. Once there's enough corrosion, the steel fails and eventually they would fall down. The way we look at these bridges is they have to last forever. I don't think there's anybody that wakes up in the morning and says, I want to be a bridge painter. <laughs> We like to say everyone who works on a bridge has to be a little bit crazy. <laughs> There's nothing cosmetic about it. This is about protecting the structure. This is all about corrosion control. There's nothing I like more than going past a bridge and being able to show my kids I was part of painting that bridge. If one out of a hundred guys can do it. And if you're not cutting yourself or bruising yourself every day, then yeah, you're not doing something right. Oh, it's nothing there. It's nothing. Because it came from so high, it ended up falling on my hand, and everything started to swell up. Nobody, nobody's always happy at work, right? I, I was born into it, I guess. Everyone in my family is a bridge painter, bridge painting companies. It's hard for the wife, it's hard for the kids, but gotta pay the bills. The big thing right now, the Powerball is 180 million, so we're all putting in money. That's my only hope, to get out of this place. You gotta win the lottery. The old guys will tell you that in order to make it in that industry, you have to be married to the bridge. I love it. That's my world up there. Oh, I feel free. I work. I work better up there. I always feel better on the high than on the ground. If you fall and then lights are out, you die. So, and I have friends already that have died doing this business. I walked through the blood, climbed to the top. You can see the like where he fell, the paint. Like he's still holding on the gun. You can see the line. There's no room for accidents. One accident, it can cause your life or maybe like somebody else's life. I'm afraid of more than the traffic on the roadway than the being up on top of that tower. That's not a joke. One of my biggest fears here is having somebody pass away or die on this bridge here. You get very close to these people that you're working with. You're with these guys more than with your family. It'd be really devastating to see something happen to them, one of these guys because they're like your family members. I'm from Jamaica. This started as a summer job. The money was good, and I knew what I was doing. Cheers. Brazil. Mexico. I was born in Honduras. And everybody called me cowboy. You gotta have a nickname. You gotta. Have, you can't use what they get your mother gave you. You're not with your mother anymore. This is your new family. That's it. Bridge brother. Bridge brother. Yeah.